Hi guys, Madra here. I have another word that ties into the video that I released on yesterday and I'm so excited to share it with you. Stay tuned. I'm back guys. I tried to record a nice little video at the park with the beautiful scenery and the sunshine, but it didn't work out. As soon as I sat down, about 25 love bugs or those small black bugs that always are attached to each other decided to launch an all-out attack against my computer, my laptop, my phone, everything. So I just had to get out of there. I felt so discouraged. I said, Lord, I tried, but you know, I felt like take a break, get away, get some lunch, regroup and come back. So here I am. And back to what we were saying, <laughs> back to where we left off. So the Lord had me to release a video on yesterday about separation and taking a closer look at some of the people that you have around you, because you need to know the difference between having a Paul on your boat or having a Jonah on your boat. And if you missed that video, I'm going to put it in the description so you can take time out to go back and watch it because it ties into what I'm going to say today. I didn't plan on making a video today, but the Lord showed me the numbers 222 two, two last night. And it's one of the ways that he speaks to me. He speaks to me in dreams, visions, and sometimes, guys, he'll even show me a number. And not, not all numbers are demonic. The good Lord is the creator of heaven and earth and everything in it. And so he uses numbers. He loves numbers. He speaks to us in numbers. And they all mean different things in the Bible. And um, if God shows you numbers or if you come across the same number over and over, it means that he's trying to get a message to you and you should pray about it. You should write them down. You should pray about it. And, you know, you can go to the Hebrew because in Hebrew, words and numbers are used sort of like interchangeably, if I'm describing that correctly. But I'll get more into that once I get into what I want to talk to you about, which is two, two, two. And so for some of God's children, not everybody, you know, everything has a time and a season, but God is rewarding some of the believers, some of his believers, because of the time and the season. That's so exciting. Ecclesiastics 3 and 1 says to everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven. And what this is, guys you know, I've been studying numbers for a while now because that's, like I mentioned, that's one of the ways that God speaks to me. And so we have 222, two, two, and that's a powerful number. It's a powerful combination. There's a double portion anointing under the heavens that God is pouring out over some of his people. God took me to the book of Acts. And so I looked at Acts 2 and 22. So let's go there and read it. So Acts 2 and 22 says, Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God among you by miracles and wonders and signs, which God did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourselves also know. You know, God used Jesus in a mighty way when he was on the earth. And one of the ways, well, three of the ways that he moved in Jesus' life was through miracles, signs, and wonders. And they followed Jesus wherever he went. And God wants to use you in a mighty way. He wants you to call out, cry out, pray for those miracles and signs and wonders because there are open heavens and seasons in the heavens when God pours those out. So if you have a family member that you want to pray for, if you have a situation that takes a miracle in your life. Now is a good time. If you've been seeing that number, God may be calling out to you and dealing with you about miracle signs and wonders. They will be double when this anointing is on your life. So as I mentioned, cry out to God for miracles, the signs and the wonders on the earth and in your family, in your church, and wherever that's necessary. And we all could use a miracle and a sign and a wonder in our lives, right? Another thing I wanted to mention to you is when I was preparing for this 
study or, you know, when I was going to release this word about this number or this double portion anointing, I lost my pen. Yeah, I lost the pen that I write my notes with. And as I looked for it, I um, came across two pens at the same time. So I went from having no pen to two pens at once. I found two at once. So, you know, I would not be a surprise if some of you are about to go from feeling like you're having nothing or zero to double <laughs> in one setting. Because it's a double portion blessing. God will give you double for your trouble, just like he did in the life of Job when he lost everything. He doubled up on it, all the blessings for all of the trouble that Job went through. Get into position. This is what we talked about on yesterday about, um, you know, that last minute, the video. God warned us about gravitating to people and things that blocked our anointing and blocked our blessings or delayed some of the things that his anointing, you know, is designed to do in our lives. Two is a number of separation and division. So that ties into that revelation, right? When God is calling you to take a closer look at some of the things and people around you, he's calling us to be separate from the world. We can't do everything and say everything and go to the same places that the world goes because he calls us to live a holy life, a separate life. He wants us to be different. So two is a number of separation and division, right? We have to be different. Like we said, we have to be separate. And the number two also speaks to being a faithful witness. A prime example of that is, you know, John the Baptist. And I'll get into that a little bit later about what his name means in Hebrew. It's really amazing. But, you know, I could just go ahead and talk about it now. 222 is like the manifest completion did you know that the Hebrew word equals numbers, like we mentioned earlier, we were talking about earlier? Very cool, huh? 222 two, two equates to John the Baptist in Hebrew. He was a prime example of being a faithful witness to the light of Christ. Jesus mentioned in the word that John the Baptist was one of the greatest prophets that ever walked. And he bore light to the light of Christ to the entire world. So if you're coming across 222, the Lord may be saying to you, he wants you to be a witness, a faithful witness to the, to the whole world about the light of Jesus Christ. Guess which word appears in the Bible 222 times? Wisdom. Yes, that's right. Wisdom. God wants you to upgrade your wisdom. But the starting point is the fear of God. And I say that because let's look at Proverbs 9 and 10. It teaches us that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So how do you feel the fear the Lord? This fear is talking about having a respect or reverence for God. You fear the Lord by hating what God hates and you love what God loves. This is a level of respect for him. This is the fear of the Lord. And when you begin to walk in this type of fear, that's the beginning or the foundation of wisdom. So God is wanting you to level up in your wisdom and revelation walk. And he's going to pour that out on you because wisdom starts with him. If you don't have it, all you have to do is ask for it. And the last point I wanted to mention about this double portion anointing is that did you know that the 222nd verse in the Bible is Genesis 9 and 6. Let's read it. If you have your Bible, you can go there with me. But I'm just going to pull it up on my phone here. Genesis 9 and 6 states, Whoever sheds the blood of man by man shall his blood be shed. For God made man in his own image. You know, God reminds us that he will never let us go. He loves us. He wants you to know that he loves you today. And he wants to give you double for your trouble. If you're coming across this number or any number, take it before God. Write it down first. Pray over it. Take it before God. You know, don't follow the demonic side of 
what people, you know, go off into numerology and witchcraft and things like that, because we're, we're called to be different, right? And we go to the Father God to give us revelation and interpretation. We don't need witchcraft or divination or that darkness. We don't need that. We don't want that. God gives us illumination and revelation, and he has meaning for us in his word. And we can find what we need by going to him. We don't have to pay for it. We don't have to go to witches. We have the Holy Spirit and he's our teacher. He's our comforter and everything originates and begins with him. So who else better than to go to but the creator to find out about his numbers and creations? I hope this blessed you today. I'm going to continue to pray over this word, and I want you to pray over it as well as any word or message that you get. You should pray over it and take it to God because he says to what? We say it all the time on this channel. Test the spirits because not every spirit is coming from God, and each Christian is in a different season, so every word may not pertain to the season that you're in. Okay? So I hope this blessed you today, and I will talk to you soon. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. But before we go, let's say a quick prayer. Father God, thank you for your word. Thank you for all that you're doing in our lives. Thank you for your love, Father. We realize that you will never leave us. You'll never forsake us, Father God. And Lord, we just ask that you pour out your wisdom, pour out your double portion anointing over our lives, Lord. Help us to be the faithful witness that you're calling us to be, Father God, and help us to walk in the realization that you will never leave us and that you're for us and you want to bless us, but you want us to live a life of consecration and separation unto you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Stay safe. After the prayer, there is TNT on my phone. You can look at the